Oh, what? What the hell is going on? She's a sneaky bugger. Oh, love. I am praying to the gods that this movie is a movie that I can understand and does not hurt my brain like the last one did, Fight Club. Just watched it and I need something to take my mind off of it. Maybe, maybe I might go like that. I might start being like different people and things because my brain will be so messed up from watching that flipping movie. Anyway, this is Maltese Falcon. It's black and white, it's an oldie and it's also Humphrey Bogart. And we saw him in Casablanca, which I loved, and I am loving. You guys know how much I love the black and white movies. The old movies are the best movies, and you can't tell me different. Very excited to see it. As long as I have a feeling, I have a feeling that the Maltese Falcon is a car because I'm imagining it being like, like you know, the Grand Gran Torino, the Maltese Falcon. It sounds like a car. And I, I can't do car movies. I also just watched um, Italian Job. And I'm like, please, please not let there be cars or a movie that I don't understand. Anyway, let's find out. But before that, you have to like this video and you have to subscribe and you have to check out Patreon and post notifications, comment, all those good things. And I think we're just ready to play. The Maltese Falcon and play. <laughs> Oh, phew. Phew, if it's not a car. Thank you, gods. There's a girl wants to see you. Her name's Wonderley. You'll want to see her anyway. She's a knockout. <laughs> I want to see her. I told her in my letter that I'd be at the St. Mark and for her to meet me there. And she didn't. Waited three whole days. She didn't come, didn't even... You waited three whole days? If, after we found her, she still doesn't want to leave him. Well, we have ways of managing that. <laughs> that was to you. He talks in a loud, blustery manner. He gives the impression of being a violent person. Sounds like a creep. What time's he coming to see you? After eight o'clock. We'll have a man there. I'll look after it myself. Oh, will you now? <laughs> you don't have to look for me. I'll see you, all right? Thank you. Jesus. Creepy man. Thank you so much. Goodbye. I don't think I saw him smile in Casablanca, not once. And he smiled like five times already. Oh, wait, who was that? Yeah, speaking. Miles Archer, dead. Oh, that was your partner. That was your partner that died. Oh, I got it. Okay, I know who killed him then. I think. <laughs> what do you want here? Oh, I'm Sam Spade, Tom Polhouse phone. Sam Spade? I know Sam Spade. Is that a common name? Anybody hear the shot? Well, somebody must have. We just got here. That man up there must have. Let's Wonderly, please. Checked out. What time? Any forwarding address? Thanks. Mmm. Mmm. Who's the client? Sorry, I can't tell you that. Be reasonable, Sam. Give us a break, will you? I don't think it's... How are we going to turn up anything on Miles Killing if you don't tell us what you got? You won't be allowed to. Confidentiality. What's your boyfriend getting at, Tom? Thursby was shot down in front of his hotel about a half an hour after you left Bush Street. What? Where did you walk to? Hot Bush Street. You see anybody? No, oh, no witnesses. What, so his partner was shot on the... And the Thursby guy. He was shot in the back four times with a 44 or 45 from across the street. That was the, it must have been the girl. Don't know as I blame you much, the man that killed your partner, but that won't stop me from nailing you. It must have been the girl, but that's too obvious. Who else could it have been? I told you to keep her away from me. Oh, don't be cranky with me, Sam. I've had her all night. Who is that? Who's oh, Sam? Oh, oh, what? Sam, did you kill him? What question to ask? <laughs> you killed my husband, Sam. Be kind to me. <gasps> I don't know if I like his smile. He's got a really creepy smile. <laughs> Wait, that was her husband and she kissed him on the lips? Spade and Archer. Oh, yes, Miss Wonderley. What's the name? Miss LeBlanc. Okay, I'll be right over. Yeah, let's see what she has to say. Where did she go? Now Spade and Archer taking off all the doors and windows and uh, have Samuel Spade put on. Already? That's a bit soon. It's a little bit soon. People will talk. I have a terrible, terrible confession to make. That story I told you yesterday. It wasn't true. We didn't exactly believe your story. I mean, you paid us more than if you'd been telling us the truth and enough more to make it all right. What? You're too clever. Mr. Archer was so alive yesterday. Was he married? Yeah, with 10,000 insurance, no children, and a wife that didn't like him. Oh, because she likes you. 
got it. Do they have to know about me? I mean, can't you shield me so that I won't have to answer their questions? Maybe, but I gotta know what it's all about. Yeah, same. I want to know. I can't tell you now. I will later, when I can. You've got to trust me, Mr. Spade. Don't trust her, you've just met her. Help me, Mr. Spade. I need help so badly. Nope. I've no right to ask you. I know I haven't, but I do ask you. She's already lied to you once. It's my own fault if you can't believe me now. Mm. Where the hell she went? Oh. I'm afraid I'm I'm not gonna be able to be of much help to you unless I thought she was doing something else. Who killed Thursby? Your enemies or his? His, I suppose. I'm afraid. I, I don't know. I don't believe her. You come in, Mr. Cairo. And who are you? Black figure for bird. I am prepared to pay on five thousand dollars for its recovery. Is that it? I'm prepared to promise that there. I thought it'd have been worth a lot more. What is the phrase? Uh, no questions will be asked. All right, okay, okay. You will clasp your hands together at the back of your neck. I intend to search your offices, Mr. Spade. What are you looking for? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I was just a way to say, I think you're too soft. Wow! Now, who are you really? Joel Cairo. He's awake, he's awake. But imagine my embarrassment when I found out that $5,000 offer was just hooey. My offer is genuine. But he wants to search you first. Curious injury to prevent my searching for it. Why don't you sit around here and let people come in and stick me up? Yeah, I agree with that. Retainer, would that do? It might. Mm -hmm. Say $100? Take, say, $200. And more than that? I would take $1,000. I'm staying at the Hotel Belvedere, room 6. Three, five. May I please have my gun now? I wouldn't give it to him. You will please clasp your hands together at the back of your neck. Oh my god. I intend to search your offices. What the actual? <laughs> He'll just do it again. Go ahead. I won't stop you. <laughs> He's like a little boy. You're being followed. He knows he's being followed. <laughs> He's got a cheesy grin. Do sit down. She likes you. She's acting weird. I haven't lived a good life. I've been bad. Worse than you could know. Really? She's been bad. By the way, I saw Joel Cairo tonight. Do you know him? Only slightly. <laughs> what did you say? I said $5,000 with a lot of money. More than I can ever offer you if I have to bid for your loyalty. So you have the bird. What else is there I can buy you with? Oh. Oh, I didn't know that's what you wanted. I didn't know that's what you wanted. I didn't think you liked her. I've got to talk to Joel Cairo. He can't come here. I can't let him know where I am. I'm afraid. My place, then. Afraid of what? I don't understand. Help me. Who's got the bird? Who's killing everyone? I shall be able to have the money for you at, say, half past ten in the morning. But I haven't got the falcon. Who has the falcon? I'll have it in another week at the most, though. What? What exactly did happen to Floyd? Fat man. Fat man. Who the hell's the fat man? Uh, what was his name? You mean the one you couldn't get to come to? When you're slapped, you'll take it and like it. <laughs> you'll take it and like it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk to your spade? Well, go ahead and talk. We don't have to do it out here in the hall, do we, Sam? You can't come in. He has visitors. There's talk going around about you and Archer's wife. Is there anything to it? Yes. She tried to get a divorce for him so she could put in with you and he wouldn't give it to her. Anything to that? Nope. Yes. You blame me for killing Miles, too? You haven't heard me say you killed anybody. You're the one that keeps bringing that up. Well, that's true as well. <laughs> If you say there's nothing between you and Archer's wife, you're a liar, and I'm telling you so. He is a liar. All right, Spade, we'll go. Maybe you're right in bucking us. Take it over. If you go downstairs, you'll see the man. Help! What? I guess we're going Help! in. I guess you are. Why don't you make him tell the truth? Uh, yeah. Ah! I don't trust her. Plate they took a poke at you, and I'll throw him in a can. We'll swear out a complaint against you, and he'll have the lot of us. I think they're all lying. They're all a bunch of liars. Prove that was the gun that Miles and Thursby were shot with. <laughs> <gasps> he just karate chopped him in the throat. Tell him to leave the gun. I hope you know what you're doing, Sam. I hope you do as well. Because <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Hey, what's this bird, this 
Falcon that everybody's all steamed up about. How big is it? It's a black figure, as you know, smooth and shiny. A bird, a hawk, a falcon, about that high. Okay, that's how big it is. About that high. What's the bird made of? I only saw it once. Floyd showed it to me when we first got hold of it. You are a liar. She is. I am. I've always been a liar. <laughs> Some people are like that. Some people just lie without even like realizing that they're lying. Coffee will be ready soon. We'll have a cup and try again. Oh, I'm, I'm so tired. Lies again. It's the truth. I wish. That's a lie as well. Don't kiss her. Ah, he's watching everything. You're gonna have to talk to me before you're through, Sonny. Some of you will. You can tell the fat man I said so. The fat man. Keep asking for it and you're gonna get it. Who's the fat man? Say, that was too bad about Miles. Yeah, it's a tough break. I wanna show you something. He's not even bothered about his partner dying. What do you want here? <laughs> well, if you don't want anything, beat it. Don't come back. I won't forget you guys. <laughs> Private conversations have not been such that I'm anxious to continue them. Forgive my speaking so bluntly, but it is the truth. <laughs> I'll have to remember that for when I don't want to speak to someone. <laughs> Sure you didn't tell him anything? I did not. You'll want sleep if you've been standing up under a police grilling all night. See you later. Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Gutman called. Please tell him that the young man gave me his message and that I phoned and will phone again. Thanks, darling. Oh, I'm glad you know what's going on. Somebody's been in my apartment. It's all upside down every which way. She's lying again. What does your woman's intuition tell you about her? She's all right. Or maybe it's her own fault for being in whatever the trouble is. What? No. No, my woman's intuition is that she's a liar. Hello, honey. Yeah? 2.30. All right, thanks. Who's this now? Where were you the night Miles was murdered? Home? I was. No, but if that's your story, it's all right with me. You've got an awful lot to deal with. An awful lot of crazy people. <laughs> He's a fat man. He's the fat man. I tell you right out, I'm a man who likes talking to a man who likes to talk. A man who likes talking to a man who likes to talk. Now let's talk about the blackbird. Let's. Where is it? Of how much money can be got for that blackbird? I told you half. You call me a liar. Tell me. Say, say the numbers. He offered me 10,000 for it. 10,000. No, he didn't. I must tell you what I know, but you won't tell me what you know. It's hardly equitable, sir. I don't think we can do business along those lines. You don't know where it is. What are you wasting my time for? I can get along without you. Hey. Keep that gunsel out of my way when you're making up your mind. I'll kill him if you don't. I'll kill him. <gasps> I must say you have a most violent temper. Uh huh. Get over. You got till five o'clock. And you're either in or out. Or keeps. <laughs> oh, he did that for a reason. He's putting on a show. <laughs> see, see. Mrs. Spade didn't raise any children dippy enough to make guesses in front of a district attorney and a. <laughs> Good one. Clearing myself of the trouble you're trying to make for me is by bringing in the murderers all tied up. Getting this all right, son, or am I going too fast? <laughs> Pinch me or subpoena me or something, and I'll come down with my lawyer. Yeah. I'll see you at the inquest, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> well, well, uh, what's it? The crippled nosy took him away from him. I made him give them back. You're the worst liar out of a lot of them. They pay him each year the tribute of a falcon in acknowledgement that Malta was stood under spade. You follow me? Yes. Glorious golden falcon, finest jewels in their covers. Had by that time acquired a coat of black enamel. Oh, so the jewels are underneath it. Greek dealer named Carlos Constantinides found it in an obscure shop. Imagine finding something like that in a shop, in like a... A uh, charity shop, or like in your in the loft in your house. <laughs> the red that Carlos's establishment had been burglarized and he murdered. Good sure enough. On arriving there, the bird was gone. I discovered the bird was gone. And it was Thurs, um, Thursby and the girl. Well, sir, it took me seventeen years to locate that bird, but I did. Oh, maybe not. Well, how soon are you willing to produce the falcon? A couple of days. That is satisfactory. That is satisfactory. I don't think the girl knows where it is. It will give you $25,000 when you deliver the falcon and another 25000 later on. What I realized on the falcon, that would amount to a vastly greater sum. 
you believe me if I name a sum that seems the probable minimum? Why not? What would you say to a quarter of a million? <gasps> what? That's a lot of money back then. Minimum, huh? What's the maximum? The maximum? I uh -oh. refuse to guess. Uh-oh. What have you done? You should never drink a drink that's not yours and you haven't poured it yourself. Hey! That was mean. Are you all going to go for the grill now? <laughs> you were a bit silly. Who did that? You know. What? Who are you? And how did you have the falcon? Is he? Yeah, couldn't have come far with those holes in him. Open the thing. It's the falcon, he said. Couldn't he have stayed alive long enough to tell us something? Let's see what it looks like. We've got it, Angel. We've got it. Yeah, but how did you get it? It was Miss O'Shaughnessy. She wants you. She's in danger. Go help us, Ham. I wouldn't. Got to go to her, don't you see? He was helping her and they killed him and... Oh, maybe you two are in cahoots now. Now, after I've gone, you phone the police. Tell them how it happened, but don't drag any names. He's he's going to leave and then they... Get about this thing. Tell them how it happened, but without the bundle. Now, get that straight. Everything happened exactly as it did happen. The two girls are in cahoots. I got the phone call, not you. Yes, Ham. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to leave it there. You can't take it with you. No, no, it was a bum steer. Are you sure that was her voice? No, it was Hoey. Yeah, they tried to get you away for a bit. All right, Precious, you better hit the hay and get a good night's rest. You sound all in. No, no, save it tomorrow. I'm going on home. Hmm. Hmm. Hiding a doorway up the street. I thought you'd never come. What the hell is going on? Makes sense. Quickly. How shall I carry you? I'll be all right as soon as I can get someplace where I can lie down. What happened to you? I know you're lying anyway, so there's no point in saying. Well, sir, we're all here. Now let's come in and sit down and be comfortable. Well, of course that was going to happen. Right, okay, let's get ready for this. 10,000. And there are more of us to be taken care of now. That may be, but I've got the falcon. But do you have the falcon? How do you feel now? Any better, Precious? Nobody cares. <laughs> If he sticks to Wilmer here, he can get a conviction standing on his head. Get up and shoot it out. He's the one that's holding a gun and you're saying all those things. He's not going to be happy. You need to forget that you are not in a position at all to <laughs> insist upon anything. Well, he has the falcon. Or so he thinks. Well, sir, there are other means of persuasion besides killing and threatening to kill. Torture. Play strong enough to tie you up, but not make you mad enough to bump me off against your better judgment. Okay, enough talking. Someone shoot someone. There's too many people. See, she's not scared. She knows exactly what she's doing. I think that Joel Cairo was in Casablanca as well. Well, you can have him. <laughs> I thought he was like a son. I often think that perhaps it would be best to patch up her differences with us regarding the falcon. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I talked to him myself that very night. Nothing with him. He was quite determinedly loyal to Miss O'Shaughnessy. Oh, oh. But she wasn't loyal to him. And at that juncture, you decided to slip me a Mickey. There's no place for you in our plan. Spared ourselves any possible embarrassment. Well, then you should have killed him and not just poisoned him. Pay Miss O'Shaughnessy and receive the bird. She, Captain Jacoby, and the falcon slipped completely through our fingers. All right. Wilmer shot Jacoby. Jacoby was too tough to fall or drop the falcon. Strong man. I'm sorry indeed to lose you. If you lose a son, it's possible to get another. Only one Maltese falcon. <laughs> <laughs> I can always get another son, but there's only one falcon. <laughs> Hadn't you better leave the envelope in here? There are only nine bills here now. There were ten when I handed them to you. You very well know. Oh, I told you. I bloody told you. She's a sneaky bugger. Say so, or do you want to stand for a frisk? Stand for? You're going to admit it, or I'm going to search you? There's no third way. You can't search him. <laughs> it could be a number of places. I was curious to know what you would do in a situation of this sort. <sighs> My word of advice is... Careful. Dangerous. <laughs> very. Told you. How's the coffee coming, Angel? Very, very dangerous. Hello, Precious. Partial room check for the bundle we got yesterday. Now get that bundle and bring it here, PDQ. You can't trust her either. There's something. 
There's something. She'll be away with it. Not the first one you spoil. Anything else? No, no thanks. Bye bye then. Hmm. Hmm. She's in on it. She's up to something. There you are. It's cursed. It's cursed, I tell you. It doesn't look like anything special. Maybe it's a fake. Make sure. Fake. All right, you've had your little joke. Now tell us about it. That's the one I got from Kemenov. I swear it. Don't believe her. Or shall we go to Istanbul? <laughs> I know where it is. The secretary lady's got it. She's got the real one. Uh oh. Where did he go? He's jumped out the window. I must ask you for that envelope. I oh. held up my end. You got your dinger. Yeah. And there's no reason for expecting any of us to bear the whole brunt. No. Nope. You're not allowed it back. I must ask you for my 10,000. This will take care of my time and expenses. <laughs> he knows he's still got the falcon. That's why he did that. Because if he handed over the money straight away, then he would have been suspicious. Miles wasn't clumsy enough to be spotted the first night. You told Thursby he was being followed. What a bitch. <laughs> told you not to trust her. But he'd have gone up there with you, Angel. He was just dumb enough for that. Oh. And you could have stood as close to him as you liked in the dark and put a hole through him. And you shot him. If it was Miles, you see the third was caught and set up for it. Isn't that right? <laughs> Something like that. Stop crying. Stop being a drama queen. I'd have come back to you sooner or later. From the very first instant I saw you, I knew. Oh, lies. If you get a good break, you'll be out of Tehachapi in 20 years and you can come back to me then. <laughs> I hope they don't hang you, Precious, for that sweet neck. <laughs> Not. Yes, Angel, yes. I'm going to send you over. Yes. Good girl, you'll be out in 20 years. I'll be waiting for you. If they hang you, I'll always remember you. <laughs> Just pretending you cared to attack me like this. You didn't care at all. You don't love me. Yeah, but you've lied to him the whole time. You know down deep in your heart that in spite of anything I've done, I love you. I oh, love. Pfft. Killed Miles and you're going over for it. So you should. Well, when one of your organization gets killed, it's bad business to let the killer get away with it. Oh, yeah, of course. All we've got is that maybe you love me and maybe I love you. You know whether you love me or not. You don't love each other, you've just met. Calm down. If you'd love me, you wouldn't have needed any more on that side. He doesn't love you. You don't love him. Go to prison where you belong. Lie to all the inmates. Got him? Got him. Swell. Here's another one for you. Yay! I am positive that he's got it and his secretary's holding on to it for him. You brought it all on yourself. Don't feel sorry for yourself now. No way. Oh, come on. Why could you not have just went back to your secretary and she had the real one? That would have been the best ending. Bravo, bravo, wonderful movie. Black and white, classic. Humphrey Bogart, beautiful acting, clever story. Kept me confused the whole way through. <laughs> the, the only thing, I just wish that he had the real one and his secretary had the real one and then that's what he was going back and he was like, haha, suckers, got yous all. Very, very glad that he sent that girl to prison because if he ended up being in love with her, I would have been very, very mad. That is not, not when you're a compulsive liar like that. And she brought it all on herself and she's playing the victim and I don't like that. And if he ended up with her, I would have been like, right, that's it, no more Humphrey Bogart movies. But now I can watch all the Humphrey Bogart movies because that is exactly how it should have went. Apart from him having the real Maltese Falcon and then, I don't know, maybe, maybe falling in love with his secretary and and finding out that she's the one that he was in love with the whole time. What was up with his partner's wife? Because she was obsessed with Sam Spade when I don't think she had any right to be. Like he wasn't giving her any, any signs that he wanted her back. Are people actually like that? Are women actually like that? Because that's just weird. I didn't trust that. Um, what was her name? Miss Miss O'Shaughnessy. Miss O'Shaughnessy. I didn't trust her the whole way through. Never trust someone that lies at the very beginning, especially because we all knew. We all knew she was a liar. So you just don't trust them. 
ever again. And I was right not to trust her because it turns out she was a whole ass murderer and then pretended like she was sad about it. When she wasn't, she'll just do the same thing in prison and then she'll spend the rest of her life lying and trying to steal and just being a horrible, horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking about her like she's real life, but she's an actor and she's a, it's a character. <laughs> I'm so angry about the person, that she, <laughs> the character that she was. But that makes, that's what means it's a good movie, that you're feeling these emotions about a character when they're not even real. And it's funny. It was really weird seeing Humphrey Bogart smiling all the time. I do, I, he looks, he's got a weird smile. It's like Charlie Chaplin when he smiles. It's teethy. No, teethy's not the word. It's, I don't know what the word is. I, pref I think I preferred Casablanca. I think. Or I preferred his character in Casablanca. I think that's what it is. That's another black and white movie that I can put on my list. I think I must be at like 20. I must be, or maybe more. I, ha I really have to count. I keep saying, every time I watch a black and white movie, I keep saying I'm gonna count. I am going to count them. I get, I'm just gonna ask again. Then let me know what other black and white movies to watch, Humphrey Bogart movies to watch. Who was the fat man? Because I feel like I've seen him before. In something and was the Joel Cairo guy in Casablanca because I feel like he was. I have had a lot, <laughs> this has been a weird week of movies because I did The Italian Job which was a very boy movie and it was all about the cars and stuff and I liked it but it was, it made me feel so frustrated watching it and then I watched the Bride of Frankenstein, which was amazing and I loved it. And then Fight Club. Fight Club is the strangest movie I've ever seen in my whole life. And now, and I was so confused by it. And now I've watched The Maltese Falcon, which was very confusing the whole way through. A little bit frustrating, but it turned out to be wrapped up nicely at the end, which was great. And now I feel fine. <laughs> So yeah, it's been it's been a weird week of movies. So if you like this video, then please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. Also check out Patreon. There's lots of new stuff happening on there now. You guys know already, because I keep telling you and everyone, they get, they get, patrons get one week early access and full reactions and lots of other things. And that's it. That's it from me for today. And I will see you. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.